You know what? We I'm love. Not challenging you or anything. Are, are you t- I'm really? Not challenging well, you I wouldn't. Anything. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Listen. You know what? Talking about shoving around and whatnot. You know, we love to help our expressive viewers and all you guys to be as fit as you possibly can be by giving you fitness tips. Okay. Now this morning is very special because Strong we visit right. our South African wrestling crew. Okay. But listen, just just to, just a note. As they put it to us like this. Sissies need not apply. Oh, come on. Okay, man. so Graham, this one is not oh. for you. <laughs> Go. <laughs> if Hulkamania, suplexes, and attitude adjustments mean anything to you, then the world of wrestling is probably commonplace on your television. Today we meet up with South Africa's best wrestling troupe to find out a little bit about their wrestling styles with a bit of a local flavor. That said, can you smell what Espresso is cooking? The African Punishment Wrestling Association is the first proper wrestling school in SA. Based in Gauteng, its founder, Quibus Ananzi Erasmus, is no stranger to the big stage and knows what it takes to become the best. There's a lot of guys in South Africa that's got passion for this game, but they don't know where to go and what to do. And uh, therefore I started out the wrestling school, a proper wrestling school where you can actually learn all the ins and outs about this business. Now besides the physicality of wrestling, it's a lot about Smackdown, but also about Smack Talk. How do you find a balance between the two? Exactly like this! You want me to take you out right now, brother? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You, you just need to know where's the balance. Get into your, 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 your character and just do your thing and play your part. Now, I'm from Breakfast Television, so what kind of persona would I be able to put out on the wrestling ring? I think how we're going to do that is, why don't we get dressed and we get actually get in the ring and we try it out? And then we will see what suits you. All right, let's do it. The association holds some of the country's best wrestlers and alumni who have since gone on to the WWE in America. While their success is splattered on the ring floor, it's not without some of the hardest training regimes in the business. After all, a wrestler needs strength, stamina and speed to become king of the ring. We're going to start off with some 20 push-ups. Who's going to join you is Dragon Boy and Steve Eden. All right. So get down here. Let's get started, guys. Let's go. Hands under the chest. Let's go. One, two. Three. Up, 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 up. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Ah, easy. Come on, left over right. Come on, oh, you can do it. Come on. And pull wide. Come on. Ah, you can do it. Hey, you guys are cheating. Ah. This is supposed to be easy. Oh. What are you guys you doing? You support you support you support you and this is just the beginning of the APWA's standard drill. Besides the rope climb, it also includes 10 ring rope or horse jumps plus 20 push-ups. Number 10, well done, brother. Whoa. Woo! What's next? Okay, our next one is gonna be a normal up and over. Yeah. Get the opponent and let's go. Dragon Boy, you fall in with Adrian. Let's go, guys. Don't stop, don't stop. You okay? And you that's, okay? That kick is just the core exercise. It's on to up and over elevated corner push-ups, followed by skipping rope jumps and rolls. And to top it off, 20 intensified leg raises. Shoot. Right, while the drills carry on, I'm here with Mr. Wrestling and Steve Heerden. Guys, what is this for you? How did you get into the wrestling game? Well, basically I've been doing amateur wrestling since well, I was five years old. I uh, was a 12-time amateur Springbok champion. I was ranked number two in, in Africa, freestyle and Greek Roman. And I thought to myself, what's next? I had a look here and I watched on TV and I saw the professional wrestlers going at it, uh, body slamming each other, suplexing each other, punching, and I thought, this is next in line for me. I want to become the next APWA champion of the world. Now, Mr. Wrestling, you're a veteran of this game. How did you get into wrestling and what does it give to you? Well, on my side, my whole family is sportsmen, uh, even the ladies, uh, bodybuilders, especially bodybuilders, amateur wrestling, and martial arts. I've been there, done it all, got stuck in wrestling. Now, this is my game. I'm going to be here until the day I die. I probably will die in the ring. As Rod Stewart once said, some guys have all the luck, some guys have all the pain. If you're feeling lucky and you're up for one of the most intensive all-round sport disciplines and feel ready to take on the likes of Mr. Wrestling and Ananzi, then the wrestling ring might just be the place for you. One, two, three, grab! Woo! 
And that is how it's done. If you want to get some more information on some professional wrestling, head on down to the APWA. But a word of warning, no pain, no gain. <laughs>